Welcome to Game. Hey guys. You don't have a microphone on, they can't hear you. Hello. Still can't hear you. Even when you're trying to be loud, you're not being loud. Right? Am I right? Does that, we can all agree that when Stephanie's trying to be loud, she's still like yes, politely yes. quiet. Yes, yes. Let's all make fun of me. Let, let, let's all look make at me, fun Look at me, me be loud and rambunctious. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. Welcome to GT Live. Also, uh, Wednesday I'm edition. Hold down the camera because it we are. It's Wednesday. Okay. I know, right? It's all a blur. Hold up. But. No. Uh, that was that was crap. We took Hold a. Up. Cut his own head off. Yeah. There we go. It's brilliant. I'm not going to cut my own head off. We Same. we recovered. Boom! Look who knows how to frame the camera. Frame yeah, the camera. Chris, Chris knows how to frame the camera. Uh, so you clearly not, since the camera was like three feet above our heads. Woo! Ah! Oh. Sorry, I love you, Chris. What? Whatever. What's going on? What's going on? What? I love how this stream is just now like we just got people all over. Sorry. Oh, drama! <laughs> Great. So now he's being blocked by Stephanie rather than his head being cut off a of frame. Really was drum? Was that the reason why the camera was so high? Yeah, you gotta get drama llama, llama in there. Sorry, Chris. Poor, don't apologize Lama. to Chris. Apologize to Drama Llama, okay? I'm, I, that's true. I'm, I'm so sorry, Drama Llama. Will you ever forgive me? No. Oh, wow. Wow, Drama Llama, your voice is. No. <laughs> there, there you go. That's, that's great. Hey, hi. Howdy, y'all. Uh, welcome back to West of Lothen, which is the game that we're playing today. We started it last week. Um, since this is our first live stream coming back from Monday's all day charity live stream, first Whoa, off. We took a little vacation yeah, we tomorrow. Took yes and by, yes by that, I mean we just did other things other than live Yeah, I, I worked yesterday. on the scripts that I didn't get done on Monday. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, no, but uh, since, uh, since we are now back and uh, things are returning back to normal, first off, thank you again so much for the incredible support that you showed on Monday. You guys showed up in force and it was amazing and it was like, one of the best days that I ever had yeah. in seven years of doing YouTube and, and in the three years that we've been doing live streams. We had like 30 or 40,000 people watching for the entire nine hours. It was hours. incredible. So that was amazing. Uh, yeah, thank you. I cannot thank you enough for your incredible support for such a worthy cause. Um, they are the BBRF sent us this really adorable video that I think they're going to post on like Twitter just saying thank you. It's great. And it's, it's really cute. I think. I think he's reading off of a teleprompter. Most likely. It's really, it's really adorable. It's, so it's anyway, nice. they're, they're, it's it's great. They're so they're so grateful. I'm so grateful to you guys for showing so much support. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube was blown away by all the support that you guys gave. Were they? Uh, was YouTube impressed with us? Yes, they were. No way. Yeah. Oh so, man, good to suck up to them. They control whether or not we ever get paid anything. Well. Ever. So, uh, b but all of that stuff. Um, if you're wondering why my hair is not Christmas green and red, that's it's coming. coming. We're we making are, the appointment now. We're researching stylists, and it's really important for us to find one who doesn't mind us coming in and filming basically the entire thing. It's true. So we, you know, we look around. We're gonna we're gonna find someone who's cool with us, like. YouTubing it up in their salon for the afternoon because so, this yeah. is also going to take a while. It'll take a while. There's going to be a cut. There's going to be color. So hopefully by middle of next week, my hair will be you know, seasonal. You know how they get even those though everyone even though everyone's calling it like game theory film theory split, it's it would just be seasonal. It's, it's, it's holiday. It's, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, Pat. Christmas. Um, you know how they get those bright colors though, and you know why they, it takes so long. Yeah, because they have to blonde my hair. Yeah, first, and they right? have to take all the color out of your hair first, oh, and man. then they put in those really bright ones. Kind of nervous. Yeah, I know. I mean, like I said, be. I've never had anything uh, done to my hair ever. My leg is still nicely waxed. It's great. It's um, smooth. Babe. It's so smooth. Oh wow! Um, those are some good. Those are some good strips. Those were good strips. We could promote those. It's also uh, it's also worth noting that uh, in case you missed any part of the live stream. The full uncut live stream is available um, on the GT Live channel. It's there. It's on the second shelf right yep. now. Uh, but we are in the process of cutting each of those individual segments up, so you can, so you find, can find your favorite what you segment. Want. Yeah, you can like, click around. navigate to the guests you want. All that stuff. Yeah, so I think uh, Rosanna's section with FNAF VR is up now, uh, as is Rhett and Link and us playing Newlywed Games a game against them. Mm -hmm. So those are available uh, with more coming out as the week goes on. So that is all of that stuff. What else is going on? Merch is still on sale. Um, 
Get it. There are some awesome bundle deals right now, too, that yeah, we're running save all a, week. It's great. Yeah, if, so if you want multiple items, you can save a, a good amount of money on, uh, you know, we have one that's like the Layers collection. There's another one that's like Indoor Outdoor. Yeah, that's like jammies and jackets. So, you, so no matter which side of the door you're on, you can always rep rep your theory wear. Yeah, so uh, if it's you're... fun stuff. So if you're interested in stuff or want to buy stuff for a friend, uh, sales are on now. Buy something for them. Buy something for yourself by buying it for a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, get the nice film theory hoodie. There's still plenty of these available, which I like. Yeah, these um, are just the, these are, these are nice. I love this I thing. Like these uh, <laughs> so that is so that's the merch update. That's the hair and charity live stream update. Uh, new game theory and film theory both tomorrow. Mm -hmm. it's, it seems to be the case. So that's going on. There's been a, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Another news. A we, lot. We brought in a whole bunch of snacks and stuff for we, all of our live stream guests, and there's a whole bunch left over here. So I'm putting on the Christmas gonna be, weight. Yeah, we're already putting on the old Christmas LBSs because oh. there's so much. Like we so got famous LBSs. Amos cookies, you Ooh. guys. Famous Amos. Okay. There's so many cookies. They're so famous. Oh, they're uh, so famous. So anyway, so that's, famous. That's, that's that's all the updates for today. Let's play, um, let's play a game, shall we? Uh, when you when orders are shipping out, they they're shipping out on a rolling basis. Some people have already gotten their stuff, I think, right? Yeah, people are starting um, to get their stuff are now. Starting to roll in. If you order bet before December 10th, 10. you are guaranteed yes. whether internationally or not, you mm -hmm. are guaranteed to get it before Christmas. After December 10th, if you are domestic, it, like you yeah, have until the fifteenth, sort coming. of. But but to be safe, to we're be really safe, telling people 10th. order by December tenth. So yep. get in there, get it. Yep. Okay. Um, what's the loathing? This is the game. Let's play it. When last we left off, Fozzie Wales was doing his snake charming route. He's oiling his snakes. Yep. Whoa. He's he's doing all sorts of great stuff uh, through the old west. So let us continue our adventure. Engage our with Western the stream, adventure. by the way, down in the chat or over on hashtag GT Live on Twitter. We will be there. Hopefully, you will too. All right. So when last we left things off, we had learned. Uh, let's see. We didn't get rid of our little goblin friend yet. Let's talk to our goblin friend real quick. That's you, goblin oh. friend. Oh. Oh, hey, hey, oh, it's you. I don't, was this my voice last time? I don't remember. Uh, I can't keep track of your voices as well as my own, Stephanie. Gary. I can barely keep track of my own voices, honestly. Gary traveling with you? Far up and highway? Going, going, going? I'll let you know, Gary. All right, so we got, so as a reminder, we got to get his, his little shtick, uh, which is probably like a hot air balloon or something. We got our horses and we can ride our horse right. away. What All can right, I, I do for you? I don't need to ask him about that. All right. Uh, we haven't done the Fricker hideout yet. Mm -hmm. So before we leave this town, I think we go to the Fricker hideout gang's hide. The, the Fricker Agree. gang's hideout. Yeah, whip crack. Okay, Thud Fricker. The Fricker gang's intrepid lookout appears to be taking a little nap. Do we wake him up? Do we just shoot him or do we ignore him? I think we ignore him for now. I think so too. I think let's get more information. Yes. Because if they do end up being violent and evil, right. we should just shoot it. But, however, if they are a good group of people, ooh, it's a beer barrel ooh. cactus. We can't hardly Oh, we shoot, forging. we don't have forging. We have zero forging. Forging. Pile of random stuff that the Fricker gang stole. Ooh, binders keepers. Uh, stuff that is stolen goods you're telling me to pick up. We only have the one option. Possession's, possession is nine-tenths of the law, you know? Exactly. Which means that... What does that mean? It means that if you have something in your possession, you have a better standing to say it belongs to you than anyone else. Hmm. So that would seem to imply to take it. All right. I don't think we steal it. I think we keep going. I think we kill what? the prickers. What? No, 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 I think we take it. Why would we take it? You're, you're so illegal, Stephanie. It's already stolen. Yeah, so if something is stolen and you steal it, this goes back, what about, We'll love it and respect it more than those stealers. Wow. So this goes back to the old debate that we always have about my paper towels at Kmart. The paper towels at Kmart were paid for and in a cart and someone just forgot them. I can't believe, I can't believe you. And so you're telling me that I should have just taken them and that I was in the right. Wait, somebody left paid for free paper towels and you left them? No, he didn't leave them. We he, brought them back to the store. And by we, it does not mean me. I would not have, I, th this was, this was insane. They brought them back to the store. Yes. 
And then they were like, look, Kmart, someone left these paper towels in your parking lot. Yes. Well, did you want to be paid for them? No, we wanted to leave them so that way if the owners got to their house and they're like, wow, we forgot to throw our paper towels into our trunk. They could come to the store and go to customer service and be like, hey, we left paper towels. At which point then they would be like, well, some kind altruistic people came in and, and left your paper towels here. Here they are, free of charge. There you go. But we also said, hey, in the event that no one comes and picks up these paper towels, can we come back and keep them? You know, like they are already sold goods and we want them to go to their original owner. However, if they do not come and get them, we should have the right to them at that and point. And Kmart said no. And Kmart said no. Kmart said no. And then we're like, okay, well, well, what happens to them? And they're like, well, they'll go back on the shelf and we'll resell them. So they were double dipping, Chris. They so would be double dipping. You're and surprised by this? Yeah, I, that's that's the yes. Thing. And and they were like, and they raised a huge stink about it. Was the thing so they much so that like security was called this. upon us. They didn't just like accept this ruling. They insisted that they take custody of the no, paper uh, towels. No, okay. So and, then, and you practically stole them yourself. No. So then, at that point, we're like, okay. If that is the policy here, let us take the paper towels and we'll just keep them. That's fine. And they were like, no, you can't do yeah. that. They don't belong to you. Yeah, they're like, you cannot do that. Because they didn't belong to you. They didn't belong to Kmart though either. The transaction had been made. You should have said to them, possession is nine tenths of the law. And, and there we go out. all the way back around <laughs> to why this story started in the first place. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> the thing is, you, you, either, you either make the call and walk out with them, or you accept whatever ruling the store No, because we did, we're, we were. We're like, okay, we'll take the towels back. At which point they called security on us, Stephanie. I don't blame them. You were, prob <laughs> you were probably like yelling and flailing. Uh, wait, 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 am I the type to yell and flail? Yes. Like Rosanna yes. Pansy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's <was> great. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, let's play a video game again, yeah, shall we? Right. Uh, so, okay, Stephanie's telling me to steal stuff, so I'm gonna steal stuff. There this is not Kmart. This is the Wild West. Just take it. Just steal. It's just a game. Just take it. Donate, please. Donate it to me. <laughs> take it. Wow. Just take it. Take it. Take it. Just take it. Take it. Why didn't he take it? Take it, Matt Pat. Logic. <laughs> Kmart exposed. Okay. <laughs> you gained 25 meat. I got a recovered mug and I got a pair of silver cufflinks. There you go. Uh, which I'm gonna equip now somewhere. Um, you guys. You guys are so silly. A uh, pair of silver cufflinks, what do they do? If you wore fancier shirts, you might have some use for these. Shoot, I don't have a fancy shirt well, that I can shuckers. wear my silver cufflinks on. Really, no offhand, no lapel, no nothing, huh? Right. There's nothing I can do. So I need a better shirt before I can wear these. Or a shirt, really just a bit of a stick. <laughs> it's a slim fit, it's a slim fit shirt <laughs> stuff, okay? <gasps> All right, so here we go. We're in Body the, oh con. man, here's another guy who's asleep. One of the Fricker boys is dozing in the bathtub. Shoot him, tie him up. Tie can him up. pass the soap? Or Ooh. don't disturb. Really think tie him up? He might be able to still yell. He might yell. See, that's the thing. But if we enter into a battle with these guys now, there's going to be gunshots. And he's going to he, wake up. He might be awoken. Yeah, tie him up. I so think tie, tie him, him up, up for safety. Tie him up. You grab a nearby length of rope and carefully tie his hands together and then to tie him to the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come and collect him later. Huzzah! Okay. Ooh, a perk. Honorable. Nice. Good one. Okay, so he's tied up. The other guy I didn't have an option though. It was either no. shoot or not shoot. Okay, you cautiously approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe and that the squirrely one is his brother, Wimpy. What's your play here? You approach them and talk or you leave without alerting them? Well, what are we trying to get out of them again? They, I mean, the sheriff wants us to bring him in. Mm, the sheriff, okay. Or to take them down. Mm, okay. Because they're a they're a nasty band of thieves. Mm. What I do you think, think? I think maybe we talk to them. I think we approach and talk. Yeah, let's let's chat it out here. We got the gift of the gab. Howdy, boys! Deal me in. The one without the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past the soap? What do you want? Um, 
I'm here for the sheriff's door. No, don't want to nah. do that. You're under arrest. Or no. It's Bimmy. I think we just I, go it's confidence. Bimmy. It's Bimmy. It's Bimmy. It's me, Bimmy. It's me, Bimmy. Your brother. Bimmy. You are Bimmy. Uh, sure I am. Ask me anything. I am too. Back me up here, snipe. Or I am so Bimmy, I stole some Rube's face. Ooh. I think we go with I stole some Rube's face. I don't know. I like back me up here, snipe. Because then I'm... I'm Pitting them against each other? Well, I'm, I'm creating false, you know, like, hey! Like, if someone came up and was like, hey, Steph, mm -hmm. it's great to see you again. And you're like, oh, this person knows my name. It yes. must be. Okay, all right. Right? Yep. I think yep. we go back me up here, Snipe. Yeah, okay. Or I stole some roots. Yeah. I am too. Back me up here, Snipe. Mm. Don't take but one eye to see that you're full of dead. You're full of dead man. Oh, well, oh. I guess I gotta fight him. Aww. Shoot. That was unfortunate. Oh, man. It's gonna get bloody, I guess. Shoot. Literally shoot, all right. That is what you, yeah, that's what you'll be doing. Can I run away? No, giving up status losing. Nope, all right, uh, fine. Ooh, this guy's got a, this guy's got a rifle. Got like an AK-47. Okay, what do we got? Right. He's got five HP. This guy's got 20 HP. Ooh, wimpy. Snap. Wait, uh, how much HP does he have? Five? Uh, yeah. Sniper? Let, let's, let's get him out then first, Yeah, right? we should absolutely get him out first. He's gonna deal some damage. So I think we, we shoot him. him. Shoot him. Yeah. Done. Sorry, buddy. Okay. I, I I feel terrible about this actually. Right. I'm so I sorry. I did not want to kill I know. you guys. No, I didn't want to do that either. It was not oh, my intent. Shit. I was going pacifist run. Oh, this guy's. Oh, he's blocked by the barrels. I can use my snake. What? Whip him with the snake. Oh yeah. Let's try that at least. So he's ducking behind the barrel. Yeah, he's hiding behind that barrel. Ugh. Hiding behind that barrel. I, I really, trying to shoot this target will hit a sturdy barrel instead. Huh. Maybe I just give him poison. Yeah. Pull a snake out of your briefcase and deploy, deploy it. Deploy action snake. I think we do snake whip. All right, sure. Whip him. Whoa. Why, what? It's pretty good. Stay there and shoot him from that location, I know. friend. Oh. That's the way to go. That's not bad, all right. All right. We're doing all right. I'm gonna shoot him again. Really? I, You're gonna hit a sturdy barrel. Deal six to seven damage. Target a sturdy barrel. The thing is, it's th is there any reason for me to use the crowbar? Like I would be inclined to use the crowbar against the barrel. I'm just gonna shoot him. Right. Oh my gosh! Why won't the barrel die? Die barrel, die here. Attack the barrel. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Well, now I'm just gonna get shot all the time now. Oh, he's just firing off into the sky for no apparent reason. That's stupid. There we go. Oh man! I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for I him. I didn't want this to happen, buddy. I thought buddy. maybe he was—he'd be cool, and we'd be friends, and then we'd go off with a a rowdy band of gangsters. Right. I'm kind of bummed. The leader of the fricker—the leaders of the fricker gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Aww. My grit got up to level two. Well, Time to recover that be. sheriff's door. Well, I, that was a bummer. Yes, grab the mug. You got a mug. Got a door. Got the mm. got the sheriff's door. Got some more ill-gotten gains. Fifty meat. I feel dirty, Steph. I know. Me the too. The Wild West has made me into a dirty man. Uh huh. Dirty, dirty man. Should Just, we wake him up? No. And shoot him? No, I don't know. All right, he's there. All right. Well. Let me do my. That's that. Let me do my. My walk. Uh, wake it. Wake him up. Yeah, I guess so. Might as well, right? All right. Hey, you poke Thud with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hey, we're not supposed to be here. Thud is, well, let's just say that Thud is no Rhodes' scholar if you, if we assume that it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense at the time. You feel bad about the idea of killing him. Oh, man. Let's, uh, let's walk, walk away, away, Thud. Thud. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Aw. That's nice. I'll probably be fine. Okay, you're probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. Aww. All right. I didn't get any experience or anything. Aw, that's a bummer. I want an experience. Crawl away. Let me crawl let me, away. You. Let you me crawl. Yeah, certainly do. All right. All right. Let's let's reclaim Turn stuff before door. I move to the next stuff. Next town. Here we go. What I get? Sheriff's shell door. Sheriff, sure, sure, sure. Great. I got a lot of recovered mugs. That's exciting. Jeez, yeah. Here you go, so sheriff. So much meat. Okay. I see the Fricker Gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Nice work, stranger. 
This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. What? Mm -hmm. Are there any fricker boys left for me to go round up? Yeah, one or two. That's a sleep on the job. Oh man, big bag meat. There's, I got, I got another task for you. If you got the time, it should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need, Sheriff? Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out there, Sheriff. Right. Look, look, look for the lock. Still, still looking for that lock, Sheriff. Sheriff lock. Uh, okay, we got braid. What's he doing? Still don't need. He's still looking for if, if, if we wanted any needles, or if we wanted to trade in our needles. Uh, she's doing her normal stuff. Yeah. Okay, we looked at stuff. Yep. Did patients don't get back up? Okay. Okay. Uh, so she's still getting drunk. All right, so I guess we move on to the next town. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm. Bro, look at us conquering the old west. Right? One one step at a time. Let man. me cartwheel my way to the next town. Here, sell off your mugs. Oh, yeah, good one. Thanks. Good memory. I found these mugs. 75 that? meat. Yeah. I'm the master Meeting. of the meat. There we go. All right. All right. Take that horse. Oops, Let's I go. didn't. Nope. Hey, stop. Stop. Come on. Which one did we get? Skeep. Skeep. There it is. Ghost Skeep. Ride, Skeep, ride. Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Oh, no. Whoa, any unfinished business? What, what about the goblin in the basement? Are you sure you're ready to leave? Oh. Wait a minute. What about the goblin in the basement? Or what are we supposed to do with him? Right? And also, like, I need a lock and stuff? Hmm. Once you leave Boring Springs. Okay, so... Where are our locations? I mean, all our... Did yeah. we get through them all? The mine, the, the town, yard. the springs, and Thousand Snakes Gulch. I mean, we did all of those. Hmm. Here, let's go... Maybe stuff is unlocked now that I... Weird. Maybe now that I've done the horse mission, now there's something new? Maybe. Confused. Can you go up in there? Can you go up in the tunnel? I mean, I will. Here. Hmm. And this is just gonna unveil the normal stuff. Right. Right. The horse was here. Ooh, wait, what's this crack? We got a crack, examine a hole. What? You bend down and shine your lantern into the crack in the rock. You can just barely make out a square shape down in there, huh. well out of arm's reach. Looks like somebody dropped a small metal box into the hole. Though you don't know if it was to hide it or discard it. If you're truly desperate to find out what's in there, you could try reasoning with the rock. Your primary argument would be a bundle of dynamite. Perhaps you could persuade the huh. hole to widen enough to grab the box. So we need three oh, dynamite, wow. which that's a lot of dynamite. Yeah, that's a lot of dynamite. And I don't know if we have we have only two needles. Hmm. So we would need a third needle. Oof. Shoot. All right. Is it possible? Is it possible to get a third? I don't think so. Right? I don't think we. Again, we used that one on yeah, the. Yeah, we we had to use door. the one in the in the battle. Huh. huh. Yeah, we had to use our dynamite. Let's see what. I wonder if there's more stuff in each of these locations. Right. So we need dynamite. I wonder if we can find another needle. Anything Nothing. over? Nothing. Ouch. Nothing here. Uh, oof. Great. Weird. Hmm. Well, oh, yeah. poopy. Let's see. Let's see if this. Let's see if the um, soapy soap. Look at the, look at the right. chat. Okay, hold on. Everyone's saying soap. Stuff is hidden in town. Well, the soap is gonna talk be. Talk to Susie. Talk to the girl at the bar. Yeah. Well, she talked to me now. Talk that the to Susie. Get, da, guys. You can't get the soap anymore. Yeah, we can't. Oh, because he it was from Tub Guy. Oh. Ooh. I'm just trying to do my part here, guys. Oh, darn it. Oh, man. So wait, what What? Our was... choices will forever haunt us. I, I dropped the soap. Go to the bar and talk to Susie. I will, one sec. So what am I missing out by not getting the soap? Hmm. Oh, the lock. The, I needed the soap oh, for the lock. Shoot. shoot. Oh man, right? everything has a purpose. Here I am. The woman glares at you, Susie. Oh, here we go. How, how'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. 
Susie scowls bitterly and mutters into her whiskey. Oh, man. Oh, uh, I saw it happen. I saw the whole damn thing and couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows. It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to kick to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Cows. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed. Go on with your sad tale, please. Well, I guess Pastor Ernie... Please continue telling me this I tale that I care very much about. Stuck, totally listening I'd to every detail of this. Passing a herd sniffed out that I used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked. A couple days ago, it happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of that gun safe. Cow smash it in front of the door. Fire started out back root, root cellar. Cow <laughs> went up in blazes just like that. What did you do? I... There was nothing I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire and I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. She drains just, her glass. I ain't won't talk about it no more. I'm sorry. She refills her mug from a bottle at the bar and doesn't reply. What do you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here. No desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? Uh, it was my, it was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of. Hey, anybody. Where is that rifle? Left at the ranch like a damn fool. <laughs> Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. I'll go get it for you. Susie shows you on the map where her ranch is. You discover a new map location, the Cochran Ranch. Okay. Yeehaw. <laughs> thank, thank you. All right. So, should I sell? What do you say, Pete? Uh, Umi, I'm taking off on the thing, for instance. Double cross machines, I can't trust no more than that thing. So I don't want to sell them the shiny rock. Don't, because that's only seven, it's not worth it. Right? The it's silver real. nugget, 81 meat. I still don't really want it. Huh. I'm like afraid to do anything now. No, because who knows, it's going to come in handy. Right? You don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be the guy who like misses all this stuff. I know, I know. And we've already missed two things, Stephanie. You needed the soap. Darn it. Ah. Should have paid Ridge. attention to the chat. All the water in this trough is boiled away. It's so hot. Susie's ranch house is burned to the ground. Oh, man. Burned That's to rough. the ground. Something. Only we had one more haystack. Something behind this door is making some pretty awful noises. Go through it anyway. Not yet. It's oh. going to be an evil cow. Oh. The outhouse is the only thing still standing. That sucks. Yikes. Ouch. Yikes. All right, let's go through it. Uh-oh, here we go. Gonna fight an evil cow a bit. Most evil of cows. Ooh, looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Let's Great. grab that knife. Varmint skin. skin knife. Oh, man. I'm gonna skin some varmints. Can I do anything with it? Allows you to collect skins from beasts after combat. Whoa. Oh, oh so if we killed the snakes afterward, we could have skinned them. Order of events, man. I know. Very important here. Ooh, that is a demon cow, it appears. Whoa. Oh, man, I don't know if I trust this demon cow. I wouldn't, actually. I'm gonna avoid Most it. Okay. demon cows are not, not trustworthy. This thing looks angry. You're not gonna make it to that safe without dealing with it. Deal with it. Let's deal with the demon cow! Bring that cow. Got the jump on that demon cow. What do you think? Uh, poison I think him? you, nah. I don't think it's gonna poison. Crowbar it, shoot it. A pyrobove. Hot right. resistance. All right, let's just shoot him. Yes! All right. Gonna oh, I am burned. Oh, I am on fire. I am hot and on fire. Crispy. Woo! All right, All right that was a wow. very we short battle. You defeated that nasty cow skull floating in a cloud of flame. Glamour? There are so many skills here. My glamour is Do so I high. Even actually mean anything? I'm totally a glamour puss, Steph. Look at me. I'm a hottie. It's the cock Guns. Go and see. Alright, got Susie. Oh man, we got Susie's rifle. Can I just oh, keep her rifle? For We're myself? gonna get a girlfriend. It's an old rifle, but it's obviously been well cared for. There are six little notches carved into the stock. Can I can I actually equip it? I thought the cow would have twenty health or something. I know, me too. Right? I expected the cow to actually it, it looked like the most ferocious of the beasts that we've had to fight yet. Yeah. Apparently oh, not. I know. Let me skate oh, on by. Yeah, okay. Cocker and Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go give her a gun. Since no one else cares about us in this town anymore. Oh wait, this is, no, I don't want to ride Skeep out of town. No Skeep, no. No Skeep! Here we go. Skeep. I found it. 
Susie's eyes well up with tears as you hand her the white rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. It's because I didn't throw it. The name's Fozzie. Thanks, Fozzie. I can't rightly say what it means to me. Waka waka. <laughs> she looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you. She sighs. <sighs> oh. Well, that's enough woe and misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along, then you head west. Just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. I'm about to head west. Would you like to tag along? Right. Wait, uh, so how do I get Little Wait, Goblin Man? Uh, yeah, what do we do with him? Am I just missing stuff in town at this point well, or what? Poop. Yeah, what do we do with the Goblin? Spittoon, Haystack in the Stables. Check the Haystack in the Stables. Maybe we've already we done the Haystack. We've done all like the Haystack. I thought so too. Oh wait, there is a there another one? No, we checked these already. Yeah, we already checked those. Other one? Shoot. Shoot. So I'm assuming the dynamite probably unlocks the thing that allows already, us to get the Goblin. We already did the Spittoon. Hat, we already got the hat. Switch to the knife. Get Gary. I, we don't know how to get Gary. We can't get Gary. Poor Gary. Okay. Okay, we did this. This is the only person who didn't really give us anything is, is her. Right? Uh do you have any do you have any idea what's causing the resurrections? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor? What's that? when you get incomplete information from an unverified soul. Damn it, woman! Not what a rumor is, but what is the rumor? <laughs> anyway, what I heard is that there's a fellow out west causing it a necromancer, as they call him. Supposedly he's selling magic out into the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? Like the beans. The, like the bean slingers. I never heard of it. I, I never heard no bean slingers raising the dead of you. Her skull deepens. That'd be one hell of a can of beans. Mm. All right, great. All right. Uh, Head west to get Gary. Okay. What's the when deal you ride with all out that of town? It'll give you the choice to get a companion. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. What's the deal with all that TNT? Uh oh, it's it's a when I feel like I'm about to go. I can blow myself to bits so small that there won't be nothing left to come back. That seems like a drastic choice. Drastic hell! No way am I taking the risk of though becoming one of those things. Fair enough, I suppose. Though being a floating demon, key, floating demon cowhead seems that like a pretty awesome. cool idea. Hey, let's talk about that necromancer. Assuming he exists, what about him? Well, maybe somebody ought to try and stop him. Doc Alice gives you a sharp look. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why you not talking about me, you? <laughs> a gray-haired old woman. Knows much about his fighting as a squirrel, no surgery. Did they you did hit? surgery on a grape. What? On a grape, Stephanie. <laughs> I heard. She knows how to do surgery on a squirrel, and I know how to do surgery on a grape. How do you do surgery on a grape? Very carefully. <laughs> with much precision. <laughs> they did it. Why can't we? It's true. So true. They You're did so, it. so right. A gray old woman. Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You ain't that old. And if I'm gonna pick someone to go up against a necromancer, it'd be someone who knows about death in a scientific way. Right. A doctor, right? Doc Alice stares at you hard, takes a swig from her bottle saying nothing. And it sounds to me like you've got plenty of motivation to get that job done for your friends and everyone. She continues to look at you and you can see the gears turning in her head. It beats doing nothing anyway. Beats locking yourself in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself half to death. You aren't even doing any doctoring anymore. She winces and she looks away, and then she shakes her head slowly. You seriously expect me to ride out west myself, chasing a rumor? Not by yourself. Doesn't have to be by yourself. Doesn't have to be by yourself, it's I just crazy. said. It's crazy, impossible. I'm heading west too. Tag along with me and maybe we'll find the guy and put a stop to him. Impossible, like raising the dead is impossible? All right, kid. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Great! I may or may not select you to be my party member as I ride out of this crazy dang, dang town. Yep, de do. Yeah, yep, de do indeed. Look at me s s sashay this Ooh. way. Look at my hips. Uh, Look at my slender, slender hips. Sashay, Shante. All right, we're gonna leave. Right. Ready? I think we're ready to leave. Yep, let's do it. Once you leave, an onion. Okay, so once I leave, people will be offered to come with me? Are we sure about so. this? I think so. If this yes, is wrong. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, alrighty then. You're properly right, horsed and ready to start your new life out in the West. All you need now is a partner. 
Ooh. Somebody to share the trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who do you take? Not Crazy Pete. No. I think Gary the Goblin's gonna be good on the combat side. I'm not sure about the emotional support. Uh, Susie. Susie Cochran, let's face it, snogging buddy. Making out. Yeah, making out. Wow. Or she's just a fierce woman, Steph. She's more than just a piece of meat. I already got my pocket <laughs> full of nearly a thousand meats. I've got a ton of meat in my pants right now. Just so much meat, you don't even know what to do with that meat. Thousand You're right, meat, I don't. I don't know what to do with that. Susie wouldn't know what to do with that meat either. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this one go. So do we go Doc Alice or do we go Susie? Uh, or Gary the Goblin. It's not Gary the Goblin. Doc Alice or Susie. We should let the chat decide, maybe. You gonna let the chat decide or are you just gonna pick, pick something? They're choosing Gary. OMG Gary. Gary, Gary, Gary. Gary, Alice, Susie, Gary. Gary, Gary, Susie, Gary. Gary. <laughs> what do you what do you think, Chris? I, I'm inclined to say no to Gary. I don't know why. Cause he's a sp cause he's like a sport. Like if we're going out to fight a necromancer who's raising evil cows from the dead. He's a slave. Goblin man is just gonna go out and reproduce his spore creatures and the West becomes a attacked by a bunch of goblins. Maybe they'll overrun the necromancer then. Maybe I kill him using the combined powers of Susie and Doc Alice. Who do you think, Doc Alice or Susie? Those are, I'm narrowing it down to those two. Mm. If it's gotta be those two, I would go with Doc Alice. And I'd go with Susie. Are you kidding me? Why would you go with Alice? Because she's got a load of TNT that she sleeps next to. That woman can fight a necromancer. Also, she's a doctor. She might be able to heal you. That, right? I was thinking having a doctor might be nice. What Susie, about you, Susie? Uh, Susie, I think, though, is, uh, is charming and unstable. And I think that that makes for a rousing westerly companion. <laughs> All right, what do you, so who are we going with? Just, All right. just I think, just, okay, here we go. All right, ride, ride out, of out of town. Go, go. Yes, we're ready. I think, who, who, who's, who's, who's the harder the one to get? I think, I, I think the harder plot line, honestly, which should make it the better character is mm -hmm. Doc Alice. Why was that harder? Because you had to Susie talk to her to... through a lot of conversation threads. Well, Whereas Susie, all you had to do was like talk to her once and then like, she's like, here's my map. I guess. I, I, I think I we do think Alice. Really I like, fair I like one, having right. a healer on All the right, team. let's go Doc Alice. We I don't know if it. she's doing any healing. She might just blow stuff up. You knock on Alice's door and tell her it's time to go. Let's hit the trail. One last thing before you go. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience <gasps> points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or would you prefer to decide for yourself? Ooh. Let's keep spending it automatically. Yeah, all right. I'm fine. Sure, why not? I'm fine. All right, then, let's go. You consult the southeast west map and Hoss the hostler gave you. It only lists two things, the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. You discovered a new map location. Great, okay, head to Dirtwater. All right, let's Here we go. do Dirtwater. Come, Skeep. Skeep whinnies as you approach. Let's comb her mane. Oh, that sounds nice. She neighs with whispery gratitude. Oh, that's, that's cute. Room for when? Okay, here we go. It's your partner, let's talk to our partner. Howdy, Alice. If we're going to look into the necromancer business, I figure we ought to start with the local cemeteries. Makes sense. Do you know where they are? Yeah, I did some research in the Territory Cemetery a while back. Territory Cemeteries. Territory Cemeteries. To see if there was a pattern. You okay? Sorry. Anyway, anyway that's, not... that's not too far from here. The Dave Yard. Oh, nice. Uh, am I forgetting about anything? Uh, Alice, Alice says you should see the bartender, bartender about renting that room. Be nice all to right. have a base of operation. Oh, all right. Thanks for the reminder. Look, look at how helpful she is. Sweet. Oh man, another spittoon. It's a spittoon. Brass bucket for people to spit. Inspect it. Let's inspect it. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already. Look, oh the God. jewel saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside it isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Inspect Let's it. inspecting it. Here we There's go gonna again. There's going to be nothing in this right. one. <laughs> All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, <laughs> which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah. 
Uh, no, that's bad! <laughs> because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This bra brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth of toxins and filth. Oh, we're gonna get some horrible disease and just die from uh, this I guarantee it. Distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Do we search it? Yes. Yes, we yes. search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something. <laughs> the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple syrup, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of the people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth once in their lives. Oh my gosh. Just, Sounds great. Let's I, go. I stuck my hand into a dirty toilet one time to find a puzzle piece for a YouTube red show. Ugh. I'm fine sticking my hand. You can stick your hand anywhere. Stick my hand anywhere. That Let's do it. Glorp! Feels like putting your hand into an, a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like somebody ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. Sweet. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep, keep, keep going. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming that you're still able to have any, and you hate them. Found ah. a filthy porcelain cow. Hooray. <laughs> Who Ray. <laughs> Old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. He doesn't react. Okay, great. The piano player is not good at his job. These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns, and which Whoa. of theirs is nicer. Look, look how excited they are. Oh boy. Slop, five meat. Man points the sign on the counter. Should I buy some for five meat? I got a lot of meat. I, I got a lot of meat. I gotta preserve my meat. How come they're allowed to drink without hats on? Oh, the women. Women are the... Man. Ooh, a cowbell. Hit it. Wait, I want to fix this chair first. Set that chair back up. Yes! Hey! Nice! The skill you gained was compulsiveness. I need more cowbell! It's not seem to be eliciting a reaction. This is the sort of game that feels like it would reward me for hitting this an obscene amount of times. I'll be on Twitter. Okay, it did not. It did not reward me for hitting that an obscene amount of number of times. I'm a bit bummed. See bartender for darts. Kitchen. She's washing dishes. Mm -hmm. Shelves full of canned and bottled ingredients. Slop helper. Ah. Okay, here we go. Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you're in a nosy type, eh? I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of salt, Peter. I need someone to go pick me up some more. Salt, Peter. And that used to make gunpowder? And other things, winky winky. Look at the chef. Who's the chef here, me or you? Where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. Okay, it's on my map. I'll be right back. Sweet. This is what the chef preps ingredients for cooking. It's where he parks his beer. Great. I learned what Salt Peter was from the musical 1776. I was going to say 1776, Salt Peter. Pins. That's how the song goes. It's, it's, I know. <laughs> yep. This gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. No one wants to talk to me here. They're engrossing conversation. Here we go. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Fozzie. Waka glad, waka. Glad to know you, Fozzie. Waka to you too. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Uh, I saw the sign up front, advertising the room, do you need help with anything? Who's that old man by the piano? Can I get some darts? See you later, or I'll... Should I have a shot of bourbon? Mm, wait on it. Uh, I saw the sign up advertising the room. You don't want to dull your, dull your I know, I gotta, I gotta keep it yeah, up. Yeah, focus. Mm-hmm. Go for mm -hmm. it, Steph. Oh. Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tent was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance, right before getting himself killed by bandits. Whoops! You seem like a decent sort. The Shucks. room's yours if you want it. Wow, Gratis. that's great. So I got a free room. What else can I do for you, buddy? Hey, howdy, Fozzie. Howdy, hey, Lord. You, you need any help? Well, if you're handy with mechanical st type stuff, something's wrong with our player piano player. I thought that the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. See what I can do? Thanks. I've poked, I've poked around in it myself, but I lost the key. This conversation has suddenly taken a very strange turn. Hmm. What else we got? Hi, Lloyd again. 
Uh, who's that old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to sell his stories, but nobody were buying. Too weird his stories. Fantastical like. Too bad. Love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much now, anyhow. He had to get normal work to make ends meet. Didn't pa did passing well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind in a mind. He's lost his mind in a mind. I think you meant it the reverse ways, my friend. Mm. I think he was. I think he was lost his mind in a mind. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he has what now? You know what I mean. He saw something. Something made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely come to that. He just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm him down. And as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. Feels a little sorry for him to be honest. Oh, poor fella. That's tragic. Right. Can I get some darts? Hmm? Sign on the dartboard says to see you for darts. Oh, sorry. All the darts broke months ago. That is truly a sad, sad revelation. All, All right. right, let's go. Talk to my Talk partner to again. Oh, yeah. uh, I've seen you found the local watering hole. It's decent. Let All me right. know if you find a whiskeying hole. All right. Great. Hey. Isn't bourbon a type of whiskey? Guest rooms. See my room. Ooh, should I insult Ooh. myself in the mirror? Yes. Ooh, you call Whoa. yourself a goblin, kissing yellow belly jerk. Oh, wow, you're angry. angry. Angry at yourself. Maybe be kind. Better to not insult, insult yourself anymore. Ugh. You get angry, you're liable to pass out. Oh no. Whoa. This is Alice's bed. Talk to my partner again. Okay. All right. She's just everywhere. All right, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go do stuff. Great, here we go. Do, 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 do. Nice view from up do, here. Do, 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 postcard. Do, 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 do. Got a blank postcard. It's my bed, sleeping in my bed. You dream that you're singing old songs about death while fleeing from a sword. For some reason, you eat an entire swarm of bees. That's weird. Okay, you wake up refreshed and restored and hungry. Sober. Huh, okay. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, at Stefan says, uh, I'm going to Twitter now and then gets distracted by voice acting. Sorry. Twitter betrayed again. Sorry, I, I'm here. I'm here. I'm with you, Twitter. I'm with you. Uh, at Fish5332 says, Matt, Pat, would you put your hand in a toilet again? Would toilet again? Question mark? I, I would toilet again. Absolutely. So you, it's a pretty unique experience. It, it, it is. You know, and it's one that it was all right, but I would do it again. Uh, at Justice the Music says, will you guys have a donate button on the GT Live as well, or a link to following the streams, GT Live. Uh, also, uh, love you guys, yesterday was amazing, congrats. Um, thank you so much, and I, I believe the videos that are going up, the cut down uh, parts, like, or just the chunks of the live stream from Monday that are going up, I think those will have the donate button on them, right? Yes, will they? yes, they, they will. will. Yeah. All, all of the re-uploads of yes. yesterday's live stream will have and the donate button And we are awfully close to 200,000. It's true. I'm putting. Wow, so we have a robust item system here now. Mm -hmm. Hello, friend. Can I? No, nope, apparently can't talk to you. Little girl is selling flowers. Aww. Aww that's a I lot. I think buy some. Flower. That's a lot, isn't it? She's cute. She's a little girl. She is cute. Look at her waving her it's flowers. Like it's really adorable. She's Aerith. She's Aerith. Okay, got <gasps> some sweet smelling flowers from Aerith. Aerith. Okay. What do I do with these? They smell really good. That goes in your offhand. Huh. Stench, Stench resistance. resistance. There you go. Look at that. We can hold them. So my offhand right now is a crowbar, but I can replace uh, it with. Oh wait. No offhand. We button. have no. Oh. Did I have anything in my offhand before? I don't know. Oh. What's better, the knife? Collect skins. I like that. The the crowbar was not provides the option to pry things open in certain places. I like okay, that so, too. I mean, it's your offhand. Like, just pick the one that provides you the best damage for something that you have to melee. Well, the gun is... That's your main hand, though. That's my main hand, I know. I'm from the hides. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Fair water post office. Let me go there. Hello, Fred. Big cabinet lock post office boxes. At Beamer2014 says, so uh, remember when Cordy Patrick's sister was going to check Twitter? I do. I do too. I remember. Man, <laughs> man. Get Salt Peter. <laughs> Hi, I'm Foz of Wales. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. I'd like to send a postcard. All right, let's have it. All right. You write a quick note to Rufus. Let him know that what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, uh, it's always one of them prepaid ones. Then that'll be zero meat then. Thanks, thanks for sending my stuff. Nice. Okay, All right. Uh, 
Yeah, Stephen Matt know the movie 1776. Yes, oh, of course. Classic. Uh, the same guy who played Mr. Feeney in Boy Meets World played John Adams in the movie version of 1776. He was great. Click clear throat. How do you the sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. I think I should offer to help, not offer to be sheriff. Oof, right? yeah. No one wants offer that. To no, help. One, no one wants that pressure. Mm -hmm. Sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there, cells over yonder. She points behind her and off to the right, respectively. Take my leave. Here's the wanted poster. It's a wasted poster. Wasted, the strappy hat gang for grand theft, paint, and tasteless hat vandalism. Oh, no. Last seen in the vicinity of the Cavern Canyon. That's that interesting. That was a neat reward. Dirty, rotten paint thieves and low-down, no-fashion-sense hat vandals. Despicable. Let's go after them. Yes. Okay, great. Let's also go after these guys. It's a wanted poster. It says, wanted, the house in the desert gang. The, for mortgage non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also, also for murdering murder. two collection agents. Oh, that, okay. Ah, that's the little Whatever. detail at the end. Whatever, 500 for yeah, it. But think, that mortgage non-payment, that's what we're gonna get them for. I say we pick them up too. Okay. All right. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're just named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Let's go to them too. Let's, let's pick them all up. One at a time. Empty cell, empty cell, empty cell, empty cell. Invisible cell. S ghostly cell. Spooky, spooky cell. Look at my hips. Look at me tiptoe through the tulips. Look oh, me. look at that. Uh, oh, yep, and for those who are asking about the shipping of the merch, it, it is out. I'm actually seeing pictures lot. of it uh, today for people who are wearing it. Lot, lot, lot. You saw the sign, there's not a lot available past this point. Okay, right. so, well, so there's a lot of lots. Lots of right. lots, Stephanie. Oh, man. Let me, let me crawl my way through town. For, for a second here. She's like, flowers, flowers for sale. Flowers for sale, please. Please buy my flowers. What, crikey. I want to be a map saleswoman. Dirt water, desert house. All right. I love that Skeep shows up uh, uh, as like, Who's like, there? Right, Skeep's just hanging out, man. Comer, Maine. Yeah. Uh, Let's saddle up. Aw, Skeep. Saddle up! Desert House. Let's go. Wasn't right. there another one that was. Oh, oh right. there, oh, there, there they are. are. I'm like, where's like, everything wow, else? There's so much. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. How is this place so huge all of a sudden? Desolate Lonesome Coast. Coast. Oh, man. All so right. I think oh, we go to the. Jeez. Ooh. Do you want to go to the graveyard first? Let's go to Cavern Canyon first. Okay, all right. Onward, ghost horse, skeet. You happen to cross an abandoned crate, which apparently fell off a wagon or something since the lid has been knocked loose. You know what that means? Pilfering! Nine. Possession. Oh, dynamite. Possession is nine, nine, times, nine, the nine times the law there. Fish through the crate and help yourself into the contents. Maybe I should return it to the Kmart and see if the people <laughs> who dropped this crate might return back oh, for it. Better not. Better not. You got an item dynamite and kerosene. That's pretty sweet. Great. Here we go. Talk to your partner. All right. Danger spider. You know what? I think I'll stay out here with the horses. You go have fun. No, you're my partner. Yeah, That's why I on. need you. Uh, okay. Aw, oh, man. Darn it. Ooh. Oh, crowbar. Pry off the boards. These boards can't hide from your prying eyes or your prying crowbar. Yes. I'm going in this one first, because it was the one that required an item to unlock. This door has like 15 deadbolts on it. Mm -hmm. The note tacked onto it says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a spider. It isn't even signed, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. Uh, I don't really want to be eaten by a giant spider, actually. So I'm inclined to not open it yet. Not ooh, yet. Ooh, look at, yeah, not yet. Ooh, look at me tiptoeing. I wonder why you're tiptoeing. It's either a funny walk or... Okay, you can oh. see the gang on the other side of this big pile of junk, but you're not going to be able to get to them from this end. Maybe if you had more legs, ha. you'd be able to pick your way through it. More legs like a spider. Like a spider. Could be. Woo, look at me riding my lantern. That was a good one. Is it called? Oh, I need foraging. Oh, gosh, we need foraging, man. I know, my, my snake. My snake. So, okay, so the evil gang's over here, mm -hmm. so we don't want that. Let's go into the dangerous. Oh, you got a perk, mostly scabs. Oh, I'm hey. pricking myself on too many nice. cacti, I'm assuming. Should I not go in for this one? The 
bones make you pretty reluctant to investigate this hole. Hmm. Ooh. This crate has weapons swirled it. Let's open up this yeah. crate. Yeah. You're fancy. You dig through the crate. You got a fancy knife. Kind of. Oh, that's good damage. So it's three moxie. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. That is a good one. Mm -hmm. This one though allows me to skin my beasts. Yeah, but you can you can yeah, that's fine. Fancy knife it. There you Fancy go. Fancy knife, yes. Yes, ma'am. Alright. Whoa, whoa, hey. Whoa! You must have a death wish stand that close to that thing. Okay. Oh man. So let's not I'm excited. Oh, that one said medicine, though. It, no way you're going back in there. No! No, come on, man. I, I, come on! There is a way. No! I didn't actually mean to leave, even. Shoot. Darn it. Here, unlock that. Yeah, you think so? Mm hmm? All right, open the door. The tunnel behind this. Ah, oh, shoot. The tunnel behind this opening goes straight up. There's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. Okay. Hmm. Weird. And then this is where those guys are hiding out. So I need. So it, it seems like I need a huge spider right? to help me. Come on. Alright. Huh. I guess we have to go in that third one. I guess. I don't think it's a good idea. Right? You hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, huh. followed by some muffled screams, then more skittering, and then silence. Go inside! That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds like there's a the nice little Wait, party I, I, going on I don't on think in we go here. inside yet. I think we check it out from this side. Oh! Right, because at this oh, point, yeah. you can see a... See. Get, no. Oh, no. All right. All right. That's weird. That is weird. Maybe go back to the first one and see if the spider's still there. Because maybe he went over. No, nope, he's still there. Huh. Shoot. All right. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, man, looks like the sp spider's got some nice... Oh, I thought that was, like, larva. But, oh, no, the gang is prepped for spider consumption. Arrest them? I think we arrest them. You think you arrest them? Yeah, you're saving That requires us to go back to dirt That's water. That's fine. You can always come back. What if one of them becomes my spider friend? What do you mean? Do uh, otherwise oh, I guess, don't do anything. That's yeah, your that's only true. option. Don't do anything yet. Yeah. Last time, uh, let's arrest him. Yeah, let's arrest him. Okay. Because otherwise, you don't want to have to kill him. Stack the co you stack the cocoons on the back of your horse, except for one, which Alice carries in her medical bag. He was smaller <laughs> than he looked, and they head back to Dirtwater Jail. All, All right. right. Good. Is that the strappy head gang? What happened to him? They had to run in with giant spider. Giant spider justice. Fortunately, the reward is for results rather than explanation. Thousand meat. Yeah. Thirty thousand XP. Meat. And got a bunch of muscle. Groovy. Sweet. Yeehaw, that's groovy. Nice. Look at these guys. Aw, hey guys. That's fun. Just wanna say hi. Great. Alright. Oh, we got another. Ooh, we got we got some some other ruffians. Ooh, what? Oh man. Another wanted poster. The Potemkin gang. I was like, the Pokemon gang. <laughs> the Pokemon gang. For unlicensed capture of Pikachu. Flaunting the construction regulations. Last seen an unregistered settlement north of Dirt Water. Oh, man. Suspicious city the gang is hiding out in. Sure, we should. Absolutely. Yeah, why why would we it. ever right. not accept a new location? Why not? So. Here, let's go back. Right? I feel unsatisfied with how this mission Okay, wait, you're riding along, you see some braided fuses sticking out of a nearby rock. Investigating more closely, you see that somebody drilled a hole in the rock and inserted a bunch of dynamite, but oh, apparently boy. lost interest and wandered off. Or maybe they were out of matches. Possession is nine tenths of the law! Yeehaw! I'm loading there up my dynamite! Woohoo! Fit to explode! No way I'm going in there. Still. Right? right? Okay, so. Still so can't I get in. So I really need There's a gotta spider be to get up there. Else. You're not going to be able to wade through all of this. Right? There's got to be something we here. We have to be able to ride our giant spider. Right? I demand the ability to ride a giant spider. This guy's going to be mad that I stole his food. I'm assuming. What's that over there? A lot of tunnels. Huh. All right. Let's try one of those. Come on. Left or right? Lift. 
good left. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Bonus people. Look at him back here. Howdy, partner. The poor chef is chained to the wall, his eyes widen as you approach. You, you are not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? He's, uh, he's French. He's yeah, French. I'm here to rescue you, sure. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand into yours and shakes vigorously. I'm Doug. It's an odd name for a Frenchman, Doug. How you doing? Well, I've been chained to this dark cabin for cave for weeks, cooking these stripy hatted idiots. That sounds terrible. <laughs> right. Uh, you want to know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet away, eight, eight feet to my right, a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. That's really unfortunate. Uh, the, the chain is only four feet long. The yeah. chain is only four feet long. That's rough. I know, right? <laughs> there, <laughs> there I was. Fresh out of God, God, this is way too much talking for this accent. Fresh out of culinary school with a million meat ideas in my head. And now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over. What million meat idea? So uh, you, you promise not to steal my idea, eh? I can't promise anything. No, I, I promise. Promise, yeah, promise. Yeah, I promise. Okay, then. It's a new kind of sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. sandwich. Oh, is that, is that, you mean sandwich. Or maybe a taco. Right, is it a sandwich? Taco. Taco, that's very French. It's so revolution. Your, 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 <laughs> choice of, your choice of voice for this character was, I think, really on point. I think you really nailed it. That. <laughs> it is so revolution that I cannot quite, that I'm not quite sure where it fits into the hand food taxonomy, to be honest. You, you, you mean revolutionary? Anyway. No, revolution. In the middle of, of in the middle, there is the sausage. <laughs> but it's sausage made from the cheapest possible parts of the pig. Ground up so finely that you cannot identify them. This sounds like a hot dog. <laughs> and it is served in a long split roll which soaks up the grease. You can't tell how fatty the sausage is. It still sounds like a hot dog. And the best part, the name. You ready for the name? I guess. Sure, let's end this conversation. I call it the hot dog. <laughs> wow. The hot dog. <laughs> I never realized that the hot dog was a French dish. Who knew? Who knew? Please tell me more. What do what you think? Uh, it sounds great. Or how about the hot fuzzy? Yeah. How about the hot fuzzy? You like hot fuzzy? Yeah. How about the hot fuzzy instead? Don't be ridiculous, hot fuzzy. What does that even mean? Ah, ridiculous? I mean, there's no need to be mean about it. Not that it's any of these matters. Even if I get off this chain, there is no point in hanging in this empty cave, making hot dogs just for myself. I don't even have the taste of, I don't even like the taste of them. You could set up a shop in dirt water. Brillante! Yeah, you're Italian now, huh? Yeah, sure. Italian, you're an Italian oh, Frenchman who makes hot dogs. Me. Great. Hot dogs for sale every day. I'll make a mint. Say, there's an idea. If I add mint to the sausage. That sounds like a, a terrible idea. Uh, you sausage. help him. You help him break his chains. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven and the shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage recipes. Great. <laughs> well, that was <laughs> very. That was a very exciting conversation that just happened. All right. Great. All right. Let's Next. go find this evil spider creature. These bottles are empty. Are you kidding me? Where's the spider? Where'd the spider go? Looks like this place needs a new bartender. What's this? He had a jaw harp in his pocket. Maybe they killed oh, him man. for playing the jaw harp too much. Thanks. So we got a jaw harp. Is the spider just not here, I guess? I guess, he's, I guess we missed our chance with this. Little spider. twanger. You can plug it if you like. I'd like to plug it. Plug it. A little, little twang. No, little twang. no right. apparently not. Man. Great. Weird. All right, cool. So the spider just doesn't exist, or like we did the wrong stuff. So weird. All right. Apparently Shoot, we, we keep apparently, doing the wrong stuff. Apparently we missed the boat on the. the Try on it one, one more time. It's not gonna let. No way you go back in there. Weird, yeah. right? That sucks. All right, uh, let's go to right. Fort Cowardice. Fort Cowardice. Yeah. Oh, your booze sense alerts you to the presence of a rock. Confused, you move to the rock, and sure enough, there's a bottle of booze. Ooh, Got some cheap tequila. tequila. You were afraid for a second that your booze sense had been replaced by some sort of rock sense. Good news across the board. Mm -hmm. Fort Cowardice. Here we go. I need foraging for that. Hello, partner. Oh, uh, pretty quiet for a fort. I'd have expected soldiers marching around, up two, three, four, sort of thing. Yeah, it must be abandoned. That's all I got to say about that. 
Just like the old sleepy. saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make a cannonade. They're sleepy. Great. Uh-oh, here we go. You climb up the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view. Great. Great. How can I screw up this mission? I know, right? Let's talk to administration first. No? Okay. Cabinet is mostly empty, but there is a handful of boring personnel records. Let's examine those. Down. Nope, they're incredibly boring. All nope, right. I really want the details. Great, I read one. Okay. And another. And another. And another. And another. Great. Now you're just looking at the same ones you've read before. What's wrong with you? I can't get enough. I can't get enough! Give me more! Give me more! Okay. Alright, maybe, maybe we're I did, done. I maybe we're done, enough. okay. I just get enough. <laughs> this was once a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for a free trip to the... Okay, okay. What we got? What we got? Good mess. Let's take that mess. Ooh. Military grade risky. Hard tack. Ooh, hard tack. You ever had hard tack? I have. Tastes like. I have too. Tastes like shortbread gone horribly wrong. Where did you have it? Ohio. I had it. Really? They sell just hard tack on the shelves in Ohio? It's every grocery store stuff. Wow. It's a that's staple fuck. of Ohio. Hard I had, tack. I had to The go hardest of tack. <laughs> we take. That's actually our secondary state motto. The hardest of tack? Home of Buckeyes. <laughs> And our tack is the hardest. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, uh -huh. Makes sense. I, I buy it. Looking for hard tack, Ohio. <laughs> I had to go to like one of those Civil War uh, recreation museums. Did you? And they sell hard tack at those. Right. Just in case you're ever interested, it's, you can always find some good hard tack I, at your local Civil War reenactment center. I just love the the comedy that's rife with like, hey, we're gonna charge you for this thing that like the soldiers hate like hate. It, it's literal it's, garbage it's terrible we are charging like five bucks for stuff that is literally like 50 Flour cents and, and no water. one would ever want ever period yeah but you, you can buy it for five bucks oh yeah you but can you can have the unique pleasure of sucking down some hard tack or if you're in ohio the hardest <laughs> tack for the low low price of five bucks they do recommend that you know like sucking Hardening on, like tank. you have to, oh, like you have down, to, yeah. like salivate. Well, they on tell it. you to moisten Ooh, it in yeah, your mouth. Yeah. Exactly. Trust me, I know. Dealt with some hard tack in my time. If you guys have hard, ha ever had hard tack, Chris? Have you ever no. had hard tack? Are you kidding me? I, I don't even kind of know what you're talking. About. It's like a it's, Chris. It's where like were you a, in history class? It's like a thick cookie biscuit that that soldiers in the Civil War had to eat because there wasn't anything else. It's flour to eat. and water. It's just flour and water. It's, it's terrible. terrible. Uh, Oh, Can we get, we should get some hard tack. That, that's your Christmas gift for the there year. There we go. We're going to get like everyone that year, hard tack. Just like that year you got us unscented lotion. The best lotion. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you some exactly. hard tack. I'll get the you the hardest yeah, tack. Yeah, and for those, who, for those who don't know, during the Civil War, there was a shortage of rations, and soldiers had to eat this like bread water cracker biscuit. Have you ever seen Lord of the Rings? You know when they eat Lemba's yes, bread? It's, yeah, it, kind looks of, like yeah, it looks Lemba's like Lemba's bread a little bit, but has none of the nutritional value that Lemba's bread it's has. True. And is actually like and breaks not, teeth. And like it's it not a fantasy teeth. item. Yeah. Okay. Spice rack. Let's open up. A, we got a shaker of salt, Peter. There we uh, go. Okay. Got our salt, Peter. Nice. That was why hey, we were here good. in the first place. What else we got? Anything else interesting? Uh, in general, this is a door. More specifically, it's the door to the general's office. Even more specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office. Ooh, I need lock, lock picking, in. which I do not have. All right. Tent. You hear the sounds of several goblins snoring inside the tent. Leave them alone. Uh, let's not oh, kill man, them. Oh man, if we yet. had goblins with us, we could. It would be friends. This must be the math like tent because it has a plus sign out front. That's funny. <laughs> Soaked with blood. Oh, great. Based on the papers and anatomical diagrams scattered across the surface, your guess in this desk belonged to the Fort Cowardice nurse. Let's look, look at the diagram. Okay, fine, diagram. Bunch of disgusting drawings of open, sliced open bodies. Great, let's okay. look at those papers now. Papers are mostly Ooh. just boring medical records, dental dagger types, laminations that antibiotic, lamentations that antibiotics haven't been discovered yet. Hey, what's this? It looks like it might be important. Marching orders. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this shelf still has some <laughs> unlooted medical supplies. Let's render, render them looted. looted. Uh, ooh, ooh, wow. Great. Military grade whiskey, nice. A lock. Oh man, safe cracking. Crack safe. Controlled substances. Ooh. Shoot. I need safe cracking. Mm. Sign says toilet in Goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way are you gonna go in there. Why not? Uh -oh. Come on, we'll put our face in a spittoon. Yikes, this must have got somebody fired. Ha ha ha. Ooh, unusually sized cannonball. Ooh, nice. A demi culverin cannonball. Alright, cool. Should I go in and fight these goblins? Uh, I don't know. We can always come back and fight them later if we need to. That's true. 
rather not gain a reputation for the goblin. Right, I don't want to just automatically kill everyone. Right, dude. exactly. Okay. All right. Great. Load up. Let's go. Let's go, Skeep. Let's go. Ah, uh, railroad camp. Let's hit up the railroad camp. Yeah. Off the side of the trail, you notice one of those... Furry cactuses. Furry cactuses. Definitely seen better days. Its prongs are limp and its hairy coating is disheveled. Requires moxie. Poop. All right. I don't have enough moxie stuff. Man. That's a bummer. Okay, Manifest Destiny Railroad. Let's talk to her. Well... Looks like we're here. It looks like there was a rock slide or something. This train won't be going anywhere for a while. I wonder if we can help somehow. The fella in white hat back there, he looks like he's in charge. Don't expect me to do any digging, though. You, you are really She's useless really as a partner. Kind of a bum. I, am, I am a bum. I'm, I am bummed out by Doc Alice as a partner. I'm disappointed in you, Doc Alice. Right? You're not helping me with the spiders. You're not helping me digging up rocks. Just drinking your booze. Right? Gary would be better company than you. Right? Bummer. Mommy, why isn't the train moving? Oh, jeez. I'm sure it won't be long. Old brass shark. It's a good old metal horse. Mm. This guy should have never been put in charge of the switch. He's too busy playing with his watch to get any work done. Ask him where he got it. Yeah. Say, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from a gal what runs a store down south of here. Name of Button Willow. Button Willow Mc... 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 Something. What's that store exactly? Oh, you can't miss it. It's right between the cactus and a different cactus. Great. I will find that store between the cactus and the cactus. Don't mention it. I mention it. Uh, sure, sure. Don't mention it. Mention it again. I mean, I really appreciate you telling me nope, where really, it's at. Really, no, no trouble at all. Don't mention it. I, I mean it. I think I mentioned it a third time. Let's, let's get into a fight with this guy. Do not mention it. He looks ready to punch you if you don't knock it off, so I do no longer mention it. All right, fine. She's not getting much track laid, but she's an expert whistler. That's cool. Sweet. You approach the beleaguered-looking man with the ton of glasses. Howdy there. Who's in charge of this outfit? <laughs> if I'm being charitable, I'd say the fellow over there with the white hat is the foreman. He points to the man. And so who are you? Um, then, then I'd say the paperback idiot over here in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. All right, well, you're not useful at all either. Great. Hey, sad man. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there was anything I could do to help. You want to know something? I love trains. Please tell me more. Ever since I was a little Thank boy, you. huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts, they were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity <laughs> like arose dragons. to take management of this rail line, I jumped at it like a shot. And you know what I learned? That dreaming and managing are two separate things. Mm, amen. Organizing and building, running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the whoopee you'd ever imagine. Goldberg? <laughs> yes. Whoopi you, Goldberg. You want help? <laughs> Congratulations. You're the new form, and I'm going to go play with my models. Great. Well, I've got uh -oh. myself a railroad now. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, man in hat. I'm the boss. Oh, well, well, I suppose you can't be any worse than that last clown. Uh, Name's me. I'm your assistant. Well, apparently, I'm Captain Hook. Then, what's the situation? Well, if I, I'm sure I didn't miss seeing this. Gi I'm sure you didn't miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say there isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute. And even if we had months to take, do you have any ideas? Well, considering you're a man in a bowler cap and glasses, by, meaning you are probably smart and astute. By my calculations, we could clear the dynamite. Uh, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'll take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth, I figure. A lot of dynamite. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies such as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. Oh. Sneaky little varmints. All right, I'll get it back for you. Also, my partner has a house full of TNT. I know. That, that apparently, might I help. can't use that, but my critical thinking skills say <sighs> it would have been useful right. to use. Right, exactly. So here, I'll get it back for you. All right. You don't need that specific. We don't need that specific dynamite, though. Any you can lay hands on and be fine as long as there's enough of it. All right, I'll look into it. So, Ask Alice. Right. So how much dynamite do I actually need here? He didn't really didn't specify. Say. We just need a, a heck load. Any luck finding a year's supply of dynamite? Okay. No, nope, right. not yet. Okay, I'll, I'll work on it. Give me time. I'm working on it. Old metal basset. Okay. Do, do, do. Ask hey. Alice. Hey, Alice. I got the feeling this operation runs more on enthusiasm than foresight. Uh, well, if we want to get any further west, I guess we're stuck with them. All right, so this is an important. Okay. So this is the new place. Right. Let's go back here. Ride him, cowpoke. All right. Hello, oh, hello, goblin man. Fensley dressed goblin steps forward. Hi, hello, being a mayor. Welcome. Now go away, please. Uh, the goblin seems friendly, but blocks your entry into the gulch. Let's talk in goblin. Yeah, let's do it. Can I not come in? 
Sorry, only for Goblin being very, very private. Shoot, I need more horn swoggling. Mm. So I'm just gonna leave. But horn. I'm gonna raise my horn swoggling yeah, skills. You got a horn so here, that horn. I'm gonna turn on the. I'm gonna turn that off so All I can right. raise my horn. Because yeah. my horn swoggle. You got a swag. I got a swag. Sometimes you swoggle, got a swoggle. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, where is my horn swoggling? My grip, my gumption, dead eye. Horn swoggling. I need two. I need 25 XP, okay? My dead eye's pretty good. Gumption. My moxie's all over the place, man. Got a lot. Got a lot of stuff going on, man. Okay. So. Out of there, Steve. Do I have anything that'll raise my... Oh, here we go. This is a set of army marching orders from before all the armies marching orders were marched back east. Okay. Let's, huh. re let's read them. There we go. This is all a set of marching orders directing a rifle vi division down to Fort All Dead. Oh, jeez. So you found a new one? Ah, Fort All Dead. That's exciting. Increasing your muscle, mythic, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Don't need that yet. No. Shake your assault, Peter. We gotta bring that back. It increases your armor by five for the rest of the day. Cheap tequila. Wow, all this stuff is just for the day. Weakens foes and makes them flamble. Mm. Got a bunch of dynamite. I've got my jaw harp. Got, right. let's see, is there anything? Melee damage, spell damage. Well, you know, we can always come back to it next time too, because we've got enough time to do probably one more adventure. Yeah, one, one, more, one well, more tiny adventure. One more little adventure. Shiny rock, cavalier sword, gold tooth, no good, broken board. Our southern and western accents are going to be really stellar by the end right of this. Right by the end of this. Alright, I mean, weird. Okay, so, I'm, All right, so I need the horn yet. swoggle and... Yeah. Alright, let's get let's head down south. To the... Yeah, to the graveyard. To the graveyard. To the graveyard. Go down to the graveyard. Here we go. Your keen eyes detect a secluded Ooh. cave in the near distance. Exploring it would definitely be good use of your time. Hey, that's Let's cool. Let's do it, Shaggy Dog Cave. Yeah, right. A new adventure. Whoa. Well, that was nowhere close to where I was close. going. What are you talking about? Oh, look at her... Man, she's empty. What do you say, Alice? There's an old myth not far from here. They might let you check their catacombs if you ask next. Great, that's fantastic. What do you think I should do next? Uh, Mr. Smee at the rail camp said they need a bunch of dynamite to clear a path for the tracks. Hey, tracks. what about all that TNT back at your house? Nothing doing, that's mine. You oh, what are good the are worst. you? Right. Maybe we can get it back from the goblins that stole it. Galveston Gulch. All right. You're so useless as a partner. Oh, man. You are not a team player. Stop like not, not being a all. team player, Alice. All right. This There's a plaque bolted onto the cave wall. Let's read it. Record of the events of the expedition. All right. Okay. That's all that happened, Great. apparently. Literally nothing. Okay. Read it. Having acquired through various and sundry means a story which is interesting in its own right, but better save for another day, a map purporting to lead to a large cache of jewels and ingots of precious metals. Hidden by the infamous highwayman and train robber Black Cole Jr. in the years before the cows came home, odd Jim Plack ride along with three compatriots, these being Nathaniel White. Oh my god. Okay, set oh out the god. shaggy dog. Okay, great. All right. Is this oh. It's like a museum. Our equipment and provisions consisted of one Wait, cart, there's a, there's horse a, this, to pull it, this is just four a, additional a, horses to be ridden, this, two shovels, a spade, and a mining pick, a large coil of rope, one large basket of eggs, as well as an assortment of other trail provisions and cookware. My own collection of blank plaques and engraving tools, one large and shaggy dog, and a butt four. I have no idea what a butt what four is. is for. What is a butt four for? After traveling for two and a half days south. Okay, oh, great. Yeah. Is this him? Oh, yeah. oh, no. Read, read the plaque. Read, read it. it. Read it. Arm burn. Great. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I, think, I think I'm sensing a pattern here. Read it. This is gonna, it's making me read it. Oh, my gosh. Read it. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm assuming something will unlock if I unread it, read all these. Come on. Nomadic Goblin. All right, well. The nomadic Goblin. Oh my lord. Come on. One of the hermits confirmed. That was near Shaggy Dog oh Cave. Oh my god. Let me ride my lantern I to the can't next plaque. Let me continue riding my lantern I to the next black. One more time, gave that brass quick shine. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Nope. Edified bar uh, store. Okay. Let me let me do my my little my little dance. Prancy prance. We came to the end of the tunnel. Great. Uh? Uh? 
Where did they oh, die in here? Here we go. Plaque. The chest was locked with an ancient rusted iron padlock which broke easily from a single swing of a pickaxe. We opened the lid slowly and the flicker and light of the antique oil lamp shone brilliantly upon the jewels of every color in China and ingots of precious metals just as our promised. Uh, we'll go to the chest and wait for our journey home. Oh. They just took them all. A hole. It's completely empty. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? This was, this was this whole this thing was, was a red herring. This was the worst, Steph. Oh my gosh. Troll, he fell for the obvious goof. Oh man. This is the worst. Man, Shaggy Dog's story, it's in the name. Man. I'm disappointed. This game is disappointing me, Stephanie. I know. We're missing out on a lot of stuff here, friend. We've had one final adventure. And, and instead, you see me crawling back with the power of my chin. Right, exactly. Chinning my way back chin. to my partner. I'm Look chinning at chin. my way back to you, babe. The Aristocat, Kratzo. Oh. All right, let's go. All right. Well then. Whatever. That Man. Was, that was disappointing there. That was so disappointing. Shaggy Dog Cave, it's a weird name. Yeah. Certainly friendlier than Scorpion Junction. Welcome to Happy Kitten Gorge. I hope we find Happy Kitten Gorge. She's so crabby. She's a bummer. We didn't end up going to the Dave Yard like yeah. I wanted. Going back to that Dave Yard. All right, let's do Dave Yard. As you're riding along, you see some braided fuses. Oh, we got some more dynamite. Yeah! Right, so maybe um, if I just keep riding around for long enough, I'll just collect all the dynamite. Uh, here lies Dave B, dad with his boots on. Let's dig up his grave oh, and get those boots. But not dig up his that pants. <gasps> sure boots. enough, boots, but no pants. <gasps> Oh Fantastic. man, brown boots. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right, I like it. Great, I'll take it. Uh, these remains look pretty restless. Put them down for let's good. Put them down. Let's let's put Alice to use. Oh look, who decided to show up Jeez. for the first time Thanks ever. For joining us. Glad you could Sugar. do something finally. Jeez. Shoot him. The skeleton of a Dave. Shoot him. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Oh wait, what you getting? What you got? Just. The target don't need any healing. Can you heal me? Right. Doc Ellis will heal her target by 10. Okay. So she's got you a very plan. weak three thing to shoot. Ugh. All right. Yeah. whatever. It's not that bad. It's fine. Shoot. Woo wee! Got him. Right. Victory. All right. 10. Got a gold tooth. Oh, Alice picks it up and examines it carefully. Here lies Dave C. Went down in the theater. Sad. Oh, man. Tree has dozens of messages, like Dave was here. Here lies Dave J. A lot of Daves. Let's put these, let's put these Daves down for good. Got the jump on him. Five to seven damage. Shoot him. Boom. Yeah, Dave. She's got him. All right. Yeah. Ow. Oh. That was uncalled for. Wait, come on. Now. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Great. Got him. Gold Great. tooth. Gold tooth. Hmm. Why does she keep examining my gold teeth? Died of a heart attack. Grave Dirty Lunchbox. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, blood sausage. Exciting. And thermos. Here's another skeleton thing that we can kill. This guy, this guy. Ooh, dig through that pile of bones. Skull with an odd tag on it. Ooh, got a weird skull. He was on sale. Let's kill this guy, got the jump on him. Ooh, look at him. He's got a hat. He's a smart looking skeleton. Mm -hmm. Not smart enough for today. Ooh! Oh no! What's he doing? Using his mouth? Oh, I'm sp oh, spooky! Spooky! Oh Are man, I've been kidding? spooked! Oh man! He, he done spooked me. Well, wow. it oh, didn't work. Geez. Skeleton bones. Got a lot of skeleton bones. Okay, great. Sitting here. One of those things they have in mausoleums. Big marble thing with drawers full of skeletons. Here, let's not do that right now. Yeah, let's not do that now. All right. Can I dig through that pile of bones? Apparently not. No. No. What else we got? Up there. Ooh. Ooh, draw, that's interesting. Circle drawn in red chalk. All right. I'm definitely keen for summoning Satan. Okay, cool. Pile of mostly burned rags that maybe used to be a person. Let's investigate it. Gore splattered scroll. Sweet. Human ashes. Perfect. And a robe receipt. Oh, nice. Wow, everything. Everything you could possibly want. So, ooh. So, okay. All right. We're, put, we're starting to get some pieces put together here. We're, we're making our way through the old west. That being said, I think it's time for us to mosey on ourselves. Yeah, we've got we've got to round gotta, things up here today, but we'll be back tomorrow. We've got a little cowpoke waiting, waiting for us. Waiting on us. Waiting for us down below. <gasps> so we got to go pick up that little cowpoke and mosey on back home <laughs> to the ranch 
AKA our house. <gasps> take care of the little feller. The, the, with the doggies and The doggies. All that Put stuff. him down with yeah. the doggies and that doggie is skip. So we're gonna go hang out with the doggies and the little cowpoke. And we'll be back tomorrow. And we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same couch. Four o'clock p.m. Pacific time. We'll be here, will you? Game theory, film what theory tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, both tomorrow. That's, what, that's all exciting. More re-uploads from the live stream earlier this week. Everything, we got tons of stuff coming out this week. It's Buy all really merch. exciting. It is available Buy now. Merch. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, four o'clock p.m. Pacific time. And be there or not be there. Remember. That's just a stream. A live stream. Boy, howdy. Let's say goodbye in the chat. <laughs> Uh, Angie Smith says, bye, clap and a half. Yes. Uh, Magsy Wheeler says, I'm keen for summoning Satan. Things yeah. that uh, won't get Matt Pat elected. That 